Are we back on for the second vid? That's why I'm kind of worried to the other thing. So the first one is just doing log of 75. Can I take that? So log 75. So log and then 75 in your calculator. 1.875. One point eight eight, one point eight seven five. Lost my calculator again. And then it's all log to base eight. It is not. So we're going to use option of solve. Uh, did they put that there, Matt? No. So it might be a different way of getting there. So we're going log to base eight. Of a half just gives us that random number 0 0.73397. There we go. Does that give us that? Oh, I put five and a half. Hang on. There, minus 0.33. And then LN, LN for when we use loads next year, LN of 5, 1.609. So that's just using your calc to get the values out. There's a question for you there, so let's have a look at this question for you. Um, you might have just come on. So it says, without using the calculator, justify if log to base 2 of 50 is between 5 and 6. So let's have a think then. So we know that 2 to the power of 5 is 32. 2 to the power of 6 is 64. So that's between, so 50 must be between there. So that's okay. So they can have say on that. So we know that 2 to the power of 5 is 32, we know that 2 to the power of 6 is 64, so it must be between it, it must be between it, so yeah, it's fine, it must be between it. And then just stick it straight in your calculator and you get 5.644. So you could do that straight away, couldn't you? Just put it in your calc. So we'll look what's on the next page. Well, log laws, we like log laws. So you know, right, if I had x cubed times by x to the 5, I do it as x to the 3 plus 5. Now all of this is working with adding the powers, but logs are powers. So if I'm adding this, you've got to think of this log a is like a power, and this log y is like a so when you're adding them together, it's the same as times in them together. So is there like a like a reverse linkage between them, which can be a little bit confusing. But let's have a look at this then. Now what's important is they have to be the same base. So uh, let's put it like that. So same base. And if you look, these are log a, so that's fine. Right, so I'm going to use the log, where is it, there, log a of x minus log a of y is log a of x over y. So I'm using the divide one here. So this is what I'm using in the example a. So that's the same, so I'm minusing this, the same as log to base a of 12 over 3. There. So that's going to give me log to base a of 4. So if I'm adding the logs, I multiply them. If I'm dividing the logs, I take away. So that's what these are here doing. If I add the logs, I can multiply them when I combine them. And when I take them away, I can divide them. 
I've got one with a power, and if you look, the power goes up front. And that's a bit random, but I can kind of show you why it works in a minute. So you've got one here, one to do. So they're the same base, so that's okay. They're a minus, so if they're a minus, I combine them. So I'll have to base three of 42 over 7. And that should give us 6. Yeah. So I'll have to base three of 6. So as long as it's the same base, and ln is the same as the log to base e, as long as it's the same base, that's fine. But what I want to do is, I want to get rid of this 3 here. I want to take it up there and say power. So I've got log of 7 plus log of 2 cubed. So I'm using, where is it? I'm using this one to put the power at the front. So that's the same as log 7 plus log 8. Now, because I'm adding my logs on the same base, I can multiply them together. So this becomes log of 7 times 8. So it becomes log of 56. 7 times 8 was the one that I can never remember at school. So you've got one to do. So you'll take the 2 up. You'll take the 3 up. See what they've done. Yeah. So you've got log 9 plus log 8. And then I can combine them as log of 9 times 8, there, there, which is 72. One's a bit cheeky. If you look up here, log to base A of 1. Is zero. Now that's because anything to the power zero is one. And log to base a of itself, so the same base, same number is one. And that's because anything to the power one is itself. So when you get one of these where it's like a one or a ten or whatever, I've got to see it as log. So base, whatever the base is. Of itself plus log to base a of 6. And now I can just add them together. Well, because I'm combining and adding, I'm going to be times them together. So it's a times 6. So I've got log to base a of 6a. Yeah. And you've got one here. Now this one's a little bit more cheeky because you've got to see the 3. As 3 times 1. So then you've got to put it up as, take the 3 up as the power. So let's see if they've done that. Actually. No, I'll do it on the other side. So I've got log 2 to the 7 plus 3 times 1. So I've got log to base 2 of 7. What am algebra with this? And 3 times log to base 2 of 2. If I take the 3 up as a power, I've got log to base 2 of 7 plus log to base 2 of 2 cubed. So I've got log to base 2 of 7. I'm doing all the steps. A lot of these steps you can do in your head. And then I've got 7 times 8. And that should give me log to base 2 of 56. I've done all the work in there, all the steps of working. When it's completed, one hasn't. So I've kind of done all the steps to give me log to base 2 of 56, whereas a completed part doesn't. Then we're on 9 minutes 22. Oh, shit, this is a big one. So D, so I'll just have one. 